Hello everyone and thanks for joining me on today's devotional. I'm so excited when I get to sit down and do these. I'm just, you know, life gets hectic and having um, my sister over for a couple days. Um, I've kind of got off track a little bit, but that's okay. That's life. So I'm back to doing my devotional. So this one will be, hopefully you're watching it on Sunday. And um, yeah, I'm just excited to get back into the word. So grab your coffee. I've got mine right here. This is happy fall, y'all. I'm excited because soon we get to switch out to Christmas mugs. So excited. Mm. Alrighty, and if you've been following me, you know I'm reading out of my 100 Days of Believing Bigger book. Absolutely adore this book. It is so amazing. So you can get this at dayspring.com if you're interested. It has been a, a really good book. So let's see where we're at. Last week was The Path to Greater. This week is Walking in God's Footsteps. Oh, I need glasses. Hang on. There we go. Hope you're all doing well. I am so excited to near the holidays. I just get so warm and fuzzy. I don't know what that is, but I just love it. Walking in God's footsteps. The soldiers took sheep and cattle from the plunder, the best of what was devoted to God, in order to sacrifice them to the Lord, your God, at Gigel. But Samuel replied, Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as in the obeying of the Lord? To obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed is better than the fat of rams. 1 Samuel 15, 21-22 As I delve into the Old Testament, I see so vividly one theme woven into the fabric of each and every spiritual journey. God just wants us to trust him. Obedience isn't a heavy thing. It's a holy thing. It's purely about alignment, not perfection, sacrifice, or achievement. In this season, I believe God is inviting you to hear his voice, to believe his promises. Yes, the ones that seem to be collecting dust, and to follow what he says and shows, not because he owns us, but because he loves us. We're not disobedient because we're bad. It's because in some way, our trust in God is broken. We prefer our way because it's familiar. To step into the future God has for you your faith must align with God's footsteps. Obedience is more blessed, more powerful, and more necessary than sacrifice. This is under blessing plus obedience section. Okay, I've definitely got some things that popped out at me. So, God just wants us to trust him. Obedience isn't a heavy thing, it's a holy thing. That is awesome. To be holy means to be obedient. It's about alignment, being aligned with God. It's about perfection, or excuse me, it's not about perfection. It's not about sacrifice or achievement. You know, how good you've been, how good you've done. It's about your alignment. That's all it's about. He's inviting you to hear his voice and to believe his promises. And to do that, we need to be still, which goes back to the last segment, is we need to be still so that he can hear, we can hear what he's saying. So many people pray, but they don't do the listening part. So, follow what he says and shows. 
Not because he owns us, but because he loves us. Boy, that's, that's a good feeling. Loves us unconditionally. But if we're disobedient, um, our trust in God is broken. So I know as Christians we get in this, um, maybe lost our way type of, you know, I've been there, I know others have been there. And everybody goes through that where they've kind of lost their way. But um, then the disobedience kind of comes about. So I would say, yeah, it's not because we're bad, but because our trust is broken. And we do it for that comfort zone. Our, you know, our way is familiar. So step out of that. Step out of the, step out of the comfort zone and into God's way. To step into the future God has for you, your faith must align with God's footsteps. I totally agree with that. So it's a, this one's about being obedient and therefore your blessings will come. So the question reads, how do you define obedience? Is the thought of it heavy, scary, why? And I would say just exactly what I just kind of went through was um, you're in your own comfort zone. You're familiar with what you're doing. It's easier. So you don't want to take the hard way. You take the easier way out. And therefore, you become more disobedient. So is the thought of obedience heavy at times? But I've, I've learned um, just to give it to God. Like I really, the last couple of months have been hard on me. I'm going through some issues and just dealing with um, family stuff. And I would say, if, if anything, it's taught me to be more obedient because God has given me peace. He's given me the last three days. I asked him, you see, Wednesday, Thursday. I asked him Tuesday night if I could have just some peace about things and and I can accept it um, when I'm feeling those feelings of peace. And you know what? He gave them to me. I, for three days in a row, I have felt nothing but peace. You know, life's too short for anger and hatred and life's too short to just carry that inside of you that ickiness inside of you and I refuse to do that just refuse so it's about forgiving like if you can forgive that person not forget what they did but forgive that person you're already at peace your peace had just begun if you can forgive yeah, it doesn't mean you have to forget, you know, but um, you can go about your life then. And that's where I'm at. I'm at peace. You know, I know what I can do and handle. So life is too short. I want to choose happiness. I want to choose joy. And I want to choose the Lord. So with that, how can I go wrong? Right? <laughs> Alrighty, let's read that prayer. Lord, I know my best is found in obedience. You have perfect vision, plans, and timing. Help me to trust how much you love me so that I can trust and act upon any and everything you ask of me. Mature my heart to match your motivations. In your most holy name, amen. Oh my goodness. Match my heart. Mature my heart. Okay. I love that. All right, everyone. That's the end of the devotional. And boy, I loved it. Did you love it? 
<laughs> comment down below and let me know if you loved it also. But I just want to mention, if you're going through something, remember God is there to help you. He's there to pull you through. Um, just pray and be still and let him answer you. You'll get those answers. And um, yeah, it's just a wonderful feeling. All right. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I would love to keep you in our family. And to those subscribers that I have already, thank you. We are nearing our 1,000. And, you know, monetization would be awesome. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And um, take care. You know, find joy in every moment. Love you guys. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.